The Berenstein Bears Catch the Bus, a Tell the Time story. 6.59 It is almost 7. As you can see, all is quiet in the bear's home sweet tree. The cubs are asleep at 7 o'clock. The alarm goes off. It is quite a shock. Five minutes later, they are back to sleep. Brother and sister are back to sleep. Seven ten. Papa's coffee starts to perk. Papa will soon be going to work. Seven fifteen. And off to work goes Grizzly Gus, the driver of the Cub school bus. 720. The school bus starts on its way to pick up cubs for school today. 725. What about brother and sister bear? Will they be ready when Gus gets there? 730. The bus stops here, the bus stops there. It picks up bear after bear after bear. Will our cubs be ready? It is a worry. They may not be, unless they hurry. 7.35 But are they worrying? They are not. Are they hurrying? They are not. 7.40 Gus picks up Bob and Liz and Fred. Are brother and sister still in bed? 7.45, Ma sees the bus. She starts to worry. To catch that bus, her cubs must hurry. But upstairs there is not a single sound. The cubs are not even up and around. No more dreams for sister and brother. They wake up to an angry mother. The old school bus is almost there at the house of brother and sister bear. 756, hurry, hurry, rush, rush, rush. 757, wash and dress, comb and brush. 758, downstairs, downstairs in a flash. 759, eat some breakfast, off you dash. 8 o'clock. At 8 o'clock, they catch the bus and say hello to Grizzly Gus. The moral of the story, if you sleep past 7, you might be late when the school bus comes for you at 8. Subscribe to my channel for new stories all the time.